All right, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to start the setup for our sliding glass door. Uh, we're not actually going to script the behavior in this video, but we will set up our door so that it is ready to receive script uh, in the next video. So let's get started. Uh, we have our piece of glass here that's going to be our door. Let's actually just rename it real quick for the sake of clarity so that it's not glass window. So in the details panel with the, the piece here selected, Let's just call it door. I'm going to highlight here and just call it door. Nice, simple, and easy. Okay, uh, with that, let's fly to the other side here. So we have our door here, and we're going to want it to slide to the left here. And we can see there's going to be a problem. Well, two problems, actually. One is going to slide right into the other glass piece here. So we need to offset it first. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually bump it out a little bit. So with Move Tool selected by pressing W, if it's not, just pop it in, I don't know, just eyeball it a little bit, something like that. That's fine. Something like that, so that it is not, you can maybe close the gap a little bit if you want, so that it is not just sliding right into this other glass piece. Now, you can also see, since we're down here, that the other problem is we're going to slide right into these corner frames on the adjacent window. So uh, we're going to have to select this piece, and because it's a group, we're going to have to ungroup it really quickly by holding Shift and G. And let's select uh, this piece and this piece and press Delete. There we go. So we can leave the other piece here because, or the other corner frames, because this piece is just going to slide right up into around that part. So I think we're good. I think we're good to continue now. Uh, let's add a simple track for this glass to slide along. And we're going to repurpose some of the assets that we've been using. So let's go into the content browser and let's grab our uh, SM pillar frame here. Let's just drag one in. And we're going to press E on it and rotate it down 90 degrees, like so. And we're going to move it up near the glass here, because this is going to be our track. But we're going to scale it down, because it's quite big. So let's press R to go into scale mode. And let's just flatten it out a little bit. And flatten it out this way. And doesn't matter that this is stretched a little bit. I don't think anybody's going to be down here on the floor looking at it. So let's just move this piece back a little bit, like so, and line it up with this other corner frame, something like that. Okay, and our track is a little long, so let's go back into scale real quick by pressing R. Grab this blue piece and just drag it up to the other corner frame, something like that. So we have our glass piece that will ride along this track here. I think that looks good. Is our glass piece actually above it? That would be nice. I think it is. We could select our glass piece and drop it down a little bit. But I'm going to leave it like that. That's fine. So let's grab our track here. And let's hold Alt and drag up a copy of it up to the roof here. And we're going to press E. To go to rotation mode, I'm going to grab this orange arc and just rotate it around. Uh, let's see, we were at zero. So rotate it around 180 degrees. And there we go. I think that's good. Should be lined up with that one. Is it clipping into that at all? Just a smidgen. So I'm going to actually just select both of these really quickly. This one this one by holding control and pressing W to go back to the move tool and just slide it just over just a hair. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. So we have a track now. We have a door. Uh, let's add some handles really quickly. So for that, let's get out, get out our trusty SM corner frame here. Just drag one of those in. This is going to be our handle. We're just going to repurpose this as well. So press E to go to rotation mode and rotate it 90 degrees, like so. And R to go into scale, because we're going to scale it. Let's smush it a little bit and smush it this way. Uh, maybe in a little bit. And down a little bit, like so. There we go. 
From far away, that looks like a handle. We could probably make it a little bit bigger. If I press escape, that looks like a handle to me. So that's good. Uh, with this actually selected really quickly, let's, for the sake of consistent, consistency, and to help us later, we'll show you in a moment why, let's rename this. Let's rename this door inside handle. Okay, with this piece selected, uh, let's first of all make sure it's near our glass, which it looks like it is. Let's hold Alt and drag out a copy and fly to the other side here and press E to go to rotation mode and rotate it around. And W to go back to uh, movement and push it in up against our glass. Something like that. Good to me. And because we renamed our first one Door Inside Handle, our second is already called Door Inside Handle 2. But it is not our inside handle. We're just going to rename the second part of it to Outside Handle. Hit Enter. And now we have Door, Door Inside Handle, and Door Outside Handle. So if I hold Control and select the other inside handle, and I drag them on top of our door here, they're going to be attached to our door, which is what we're going to need in a moment. And I'll show you why. If we are in move mode and we select our door and I move it, our handles will also move with it, which is what we want. If they were not, uh, let me hit Control Z to make sure our door is back where we want it. If they were not attached to our door, the door would move, but our handles would stay floating in air. So we wanted to make sure that our handles are a child of our door so that when we move it, they move together. So one more time, Control-Z, that looks pretty good. This is going to be a short video, actually, because we're going to do the script in another video. I think with that, we can pause here, and in the next video, we will start scripting uh, the behavior for our door.